Hello, Henry. This is Mr. Kramer wishing you a happy, happy birthday. I am so excited for you. And I wanted to just tell you how much you mean to me as a mathlete and as a young mathematician. So really enjoy working with you. Now, the question everybody asks you, how old are you now, Henry? And of course, you'd now tell them, oh, I'm 10. But I don't like 10. I mean, 10 is fun. It's a great number. It's our base number. It's the number of fingers on our, on our hands. But I want you to think of a potentially different answer. You could say, I'm 120 months, 520 weeks, 3,640 days. 87,360 hours, 5,241,600 minutes, and 314,496,000 seconds. Henry, now that is an interesting answer. So let's think about this. So when you think about months, well, you know you have to simply do 10 times 12, and that's your 120 months. And that's a great way to answer. People really, when you say to them, oh, I'm 120, and they look at you funny, you could say, months? It's a good joke. But then think about it. Each year has 52 weeks. And that's approximate, because there's leap year, and there's little pieces of a week. But 10 years times 52 weeks, so 10 times 52, you know, is 520 weeks. And that is a pretty cool answer to how old are you? Well, 520. Not bad. But I would say you don't look a day over 500. Now, when I go from weeks to days, I could do... 365 days per year, and I could do that times 10 pretty fast. Just tack on a zero, 3,650 days. But I can also take the number of weeks, 520 weeks, times seven. And if I multiply that by seven, I get 3,640 days. So it's an interesting calculation that if you look at a year at 365 days or a week at seven days, you come up with a slightly different answer. But who cares? It's a lot of days. You've been around for a long time, buddy. Now, if I take that 3,640 in days, and I want to figure it out now in hours. Well, now I'm going to multiply that by 24 hours. And boy, that's going to be fun because I like to think every hour being really, really important. Really, really important. So what is that? 1,456 and then 2 times 364 is 728. So we could say... 728, and then what do we have? 87,360 hours. Now I'm gonna let you do the rest of the calculation because in order for you to figure out how many minutes you've been around on this earth, you're gonna have to multiply by 60. And then if you want to figure out how many seconds you've been around, well then, my friend, you're going to have to multiply that by 60. So have some fun, enjoy your birthday, and don't answer the question the way everybody expects you to. Oh yeah, I'm 10. No, I'm 120. No, I'm 520. No, I'm 3,000. But how about 314 million seconds? Henry, 
You are one special young man. Have a great one. Enjoy. And I'll see you very, very soon.